how the cleanup came to be is uh, when the first time I, I climbed when I did the uh, you know when I set up the bakery and I climbed for the first time I also became aware of a lot of the problems on the mountains and in particular uh, I was quite shocked by the level of melting on the mountain due to you know global climate change um, and uh, at the same time also the, the amount of garbage and, and human waste on the mountain or excrement I should say and um, so I wanted to do something about it and um, the problem for me was you know I'm just a mountaineer I don't really have that much money uh, all I know is this 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 expedition this mountaineering so how can I best go about doing this and it came about uh, that uh, you know people were always interested when I got back from my first time on the top people were always interested in what I had to say because I climbed Everest and people always want to know about Everest oh, wow fantastic and tell me more and so on and I thought that was a great opportunity because you, when you have the attention of people you can tell them you know, you can you can talk to them, and they, things will will sink into them. And so I thought, you know, uh, if people are going to talk about Everest, uh, about me climbing Everest, I would rather want them to be conscious about the environmental problems uh, that are are faced in the Himalayas than about me personally climbing Everest. You know, and so I started to use Mount Everest as as a platform to talk about uh, um, about our environmental problems. And so. Um, in 2009, I went back. Um, uh, sorry, 2008, I went back, and uh, I conducted the first uh, Eco Everest expedition. And the concept of the Eco Everest expedition was that I would not take a huge team of, of, of people myself to clean the mountain, but rather I would go and I would talk to all the other uh, climbers. Of course, my team, but also all the other climbers there, and speak to them and say, "Hey, listen." When you go up the mountain, you have all your stuff that you take, your tents, your food, and everything you put on the mountain, but then you come down empty. Why don't you, if you find garbage on the way, pick it up and bring it to me in base camp at the bottom of the mountain. I will weigh it, and then I will pay you a, a dollar a kilo. So that's how it worked out, uh, you know. Um, and so um, very quickly, people realized that this is actually quite, quite nice because, you know, it doesn't take any extra effort. You're coming down anyway, so you're not climbing up, you're coming down. Uh, and if I find garbage, I get money for it. So it became quite successful because of the simplicity of it and, and the convenience of it. Uh, at the same time also, um, uh, I was uh, going to the, reach the top. I was trying to reach the top so that I could take a message on the top of Mount Everest and just, um, just say to the world that, you know, all of this is not permanent. They say, we are destroying this, you know. Uh, and uh, it's going to affect not only the mountaineers, but everybody that lives on in and around these mountains and also lower down. So that's how, how the expedition came about and that's how the cleaning came about. And uh, I should say it's been quite successful uh, to put uh, numbers on the cleanup. Uh, we have almost reached 15,000 kilos of garbage cleaned up uh, from Mount Everest. Um, also uh, something nice I can say is that Mount Everest is not as dirty as people uh, consider it to be. Uh, every year uh, myself and of course there are other people also who who join in the cleaning and uh, every year the mountain gets cleaner and cleaner until uh, you know th these last years we clean so much that there's very little garbage to be seen but the problem is we are on a glacier and a lot of gar garbage is in the glacier it's difficult to say how much we don't know but every year the, the glacier moves and then the, the, the ice melts and the garbage comes out so whatever garbage we see we continue to, to collect so that's why also, you know, in the, in the first years we had, you know, 6,000, 5,000 kilos of garbage. And now, uh, these years we have, uh, we collect, you know, at best 1,000, uh, you know, 800 kilos of garbage a year. So that's a good, good sign.